Wow, a picture of a track there. How can a picture of a track be interesting? Well, it's only interesting if we make it interesting. Let's take a look at this track and see what's wrong with it. I call it a snapshot. Now, a lot of people say to me, what is, what is a snapshot? Well, a snapshot is a picture of, uh, it's a legitimate image taken of an object or, or a place or, or a landscape or, uh, but there's not very much planning. Planning, uh, uh, considering that, uh, the rule of thirds, the FMB rule, which stands for, uh, foreground, midground, and background, and, uh, composition, and uh, so let's take a look at this one and see how if if it meets the uh, the needs or 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 the rules uh, for making a, a a good interesting image. Now, technically, this is a a, a viable uh, image. It's got uh, good exposure. The focus is, is is set properly. But if we look at on the rule of thirds, the rule of thirds says the horizon should be at least one third. Or, or thereabouts, one third from the top or one third from the bottom. So I'm thinking that one third from the top would be right about here, and one third from the bottom would be somewhere right about here. Um, the horizon is right up here, so we came close, but not, but no cigar. So the exposure is good, the color is good, the contrast is good. Not much thought went into this picture. This is, uh, a, it may be a good technical picture from an artistic point of view. Personally, I think it sucks. Now, so how do we make it more interesting? Well, let's take a look at another image of the same tractor from a different angle. First of all, this is not taken at eye level. All right? Most snapshots are taken at eye level. That's number one. Consider that. I've never seen a snapshot that I would consider a snapshot that was not taken at eye level. Um, I've seen snapshots taken of aerial photographs, but I can't really call them snapshots because they're not at eye level. <laughs> but let's take a look at the rule of thirds here. The rule of thirds, uh, the horizon, and, um, and, the, and the point of focus. The point of focus is the tire. And it falls right into the the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds being the tire is the focal point. It should be landing somewhere on on, the, on this grid. These the, this intersecting uh, vertical and this intersecting horizontal. Now, uh, idealistically, it should have been right here, but I'm close enough, and I'll still earn a cigar. The horizon, as small as it is. Uh, the eye knows where it is because you see this field of green as opposed to this field of, uh, of uh, blue. So the intersecting line between the green and the blue uh, denotes the horizon, even though the horizon is blocked, the actual horizon itself is blocked by the uh, tractor itself. Let's also consider uh, the foreground uh, mid-ground and background. If we look at the foreground, which is the grass, we got that element there. So we're good to go. Next thing is the mid-ground. Do we have a mid-ground? Yes, we do. We have the tractor itself is, is really the mid-ground. The tire could be the mid-ground. Uh, the whole tractor is. And as small as it is, we do have a background. We have this cloud. And we have the sky itself, the color of the sky. So it has all three elements the the uh, uh, the rule of thirds uh, the tires the being the focal point the rule of thirds is being followed we've got a um, uh, a foreground we've got a midground and we've got a background and we also the image is not taken at eye level so this snapshot is is technically a good image. But it's a snapshot, as opposed to something that the eye, that makes the eye uh, 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 a little bit more pleasing. So I hope this helps you in understanding the difference between a snapshot and, and, and what I consider uh, a photograph. Thank you.